I'm now called the Frenzy of Four Nobles. It was not easy. I mean, the first two weren't bad, but my gosh. Arcanine. The final noble? There's only one more? Avalug. Oh. We're to make for Alabaster Icelands? That's right. Let's go. It's so cold. Professor Laventon is hella concerned. <laughs> Wait, what? It's rather chilly here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Brisk out here, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you're in shorts. Should I consider Mamoswine? I'll look at it next time I get back. Wolfric? Are you an ancestor of Wolfric? I think there's a good chance the facial hair doesn't quite match, but the head hair does and the eyebrows do. This is definitely an ancestor of Wolfric. Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalug? He was in a frenzy. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? It could trouble others. And I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? To quell his frenzy. Our mighty Lord of the Tundra Avalug has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. My musculature is as hard as unyield and unyielding as ice. Ice is not that hard to break, but okay. Man, I love using this giant snail Gudra. This is, what a fun experience. Outstanding. I'm as tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. But you can all get on with it now. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Michael, but I'll vouch for him. And if you insist on quelling Avalug's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. No braviary. Oh, oh, I spoke it into existence. Got to seek out a young lady named Sabi. Sabi? Oh, she's right there. A Cheryl. She's a little tiny Cheryl. Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi. Let me focus on my workout. Okay. Snowpoint Temple, man. Oh, this looks so good. The scale of it, it just is not communicated in the remakes. Oh, and the night sky looks incredible. Hi again, Michael. Anyways, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. It is a new day. And I played for several hours off camera last night. I didn't progress in the story, but I did some things. I decided I wanted to try using Mammoth Swine. It's a great Pokemon. I haven't used one on my team before. So this is Siberia. I made sure to get a big one. Additionally, while I was playing last night, I noticed a shiny stone in my inventory. Once again, I'm not entirely sure where I'm getting these from. I don't know if it's like Graveler's or like the blocks I break for tumble stones or what, but I got one and I decided to do the evolution on camera. So here we go. I want to see what Togekiss looks like with glowing eyes. Is it going to be ominous? Nope, it, it just looks like a silhouette of Togekiss. <laughs> a lot less ominous when the Pokemon's eyes are not constantly angry. So back to the Icelands and let's get through Snowpoint Temple. There are three panels fitted into the door. Each panel has a pattern carved into it. Yeah, ice, rock, steel. There are faint traces of the word carved. Wither the statue's gaze, which panel will you press first? So is it as simple as rock, then steel, then ice? Okay, well, that was uh very easy. Oh, wait, that was only the first phase. Ice, ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Aha, I'm a genius. I can go where statues look. Steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock. Did I remember it correctly? If not, I will write it down. I got it, awesome. Your clairvoyant showed you something else? Saw me flying with Braviary? <gasps> yes! I'll make sure it does. Well, however the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. Oh no, are the flight controls bad? Gonna take us on, okay, sure. Rhyperior, Magmortar, and Electivire. All three of them. Are you kidding me? All right, the Magmortar and Electivire are only level 30, so that helps. God, this is a... Oh, Flamethrower looks so good in this game. But I'll try to just win this here. At least get rid of the Magmortar, okay? Let's try Agile Style Icicle Crash. Awesome, now I get to hit it again. Or I could miss. The Pokemon, why are you like this? That's so annoying. I hate that moves can miss. All right, three Pokemon to be three Pokemon. Play along with me on your flute. All right. Does the glowing bird respect me? I think it does. Yeah. 
Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel, MNJTV Plays, trying to hit a million subs by the end of the year, so I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. Why don't we do some action? Braviary, woo! And I move forward. Why is dive? Whoa, that is a sharp dive. My arc phone is beeping. God is FaceTiming me. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you may face my Lord Avalug. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Oh man, I am, <laughs> I am feeling the nerves. I don't think this is the final boss, but it's, uh, oh, I'm just can't stop shivering in real life. I should have worn pants today. I'm wearing shorts. Okay, I got my hoodie on, I'm braced for the cold weather, and now I can go fight this shredded Avalanche. Oh my God, I don't like this camera angle. What? What? Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to beat this? Oh. I dodged too early. Okay, I see now. I see now, huh? I have to dodge through these. Oh, I didn't see that coming. I feel like there's no way I beat this first try, but all right. Well, now my small owl is supposed to fight this thing, but we start with a triple arrows. So even if my owl goes down, I lowered its defense. Okay, so my next one should KO. If it doesn't KO me, Mountain Gale, but it misses you buffoon. I'm gonna move further up before I click the final attack so that it's easier for me to throw bombs. There we go, a crit. Oh, this is a new attack. What is he gonna do? Oh, maybe it's not a new attack. Okay, this is the same thing as before. Oh, I understand now. It's this and the other thing at the same time. Oh, I should have dodged. I got greedy, I got greedy, I got greedy. Whoa, what is happening? Oh, I'm taking so many hits, what the hell? No! Oh, man! Oh, I was doing so well and I completely choked. Okay, I I choked there at the end. I got caught in those things. I got greedy trying to finish it. Uh. I'm in the last phase. Oh, they're coming faster this time. That's insane, Jesus. Okay. Wait, why didn't my battle work? What the, what the hell? Why didn't it work? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I threw my Pokeball and the battle didn't start. I'm keeping the progress. No, I'm not doing that again. I knew exactly what to do and I did it right. And then for some reason the battle didn't start. Like, was that a glitch or what? There we go. That was, that was dumb. That was, I'm, I'm, I had that. And I don't understand why the, like I had the opportunity and I threw a ball and then nothing happened. I say we pay grim old Commander Commodore a visit, see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. I think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we'll be able to return to our normal lives. Having all the nobles quelled puts a great threat to rest, and it's time we focus on our survey work, though we still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. I certainly have my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I still wonder though, what is the space-time rift anyway? And what will make it finally go? <laughs> Wait. If the rift were to vanish, would that leave Michael stranded here? Well, their team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. What it, what's gonna happen next? Oh! Well, that answers that question. Disaster looming. Oh, that is, that is not good. That is not what you wanna see. The sky has changed. It is ominous. <laughs> what? No, it looks super friendly. There's a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. First strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleavor into a frenzy. It struck the night that Michael fell from the sky, did it not? Well, it seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Michael? Oh no! Oh God, he's gonna punch me in the face. Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? Oh no! Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Michael has wronged us. Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says he is? 
Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? I got a cell phone from God. Maybe he can text you. No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. Uh, that's A. Oh, look at Irida calling out a logical fallacy. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? And so I must ask you to leave. Am I getting kicked out? Oh my God, I'm getting kicked out. Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I'll do what I must as the commander of the galaxy expedition team. I'm being expelled from the village? Yeah, that's... I know, I know. And everyone doubts me. Oh my gosh, this is an intense story. It will only cause Michael more pain if you are driven out as well for defending him. However, there are others who might offer help. Oh, you've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adam and her Irida might take you in. I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could go try to find Leon first. He's likely to be at Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. You! What in the world did you do? I need help. Oh, well, that's not exactly something I can do. I thought I wouldn't like to help you, but we put Irida in a difficult position. Warden May might be able to help. Okay, all right, am I going on errands? Whoa, what is that? What is that? No, not the Burmy. Gyarados actually flying? Me using it on Team Sky didn't make sense. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. Oh, they actually say the word war. He has shanks. It's not attacking me. Look at shaking his booty though. Volo. I know a spot that'll be the perfect hideaway. Leave it up to me. I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Shucking your work to come best to me again. And beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kojita. Oh my God, it's Cynthia, but a mommy. No, I can't. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. Complete the trials each will set you and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. All right, we're getting the lake trio. What was that cry? Have we now lost a Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. Is this gonna be an Abra that's gonna help teleport my Pokemon to me? Yep. Yep, it is. So Michael, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. It's Celine's Abra, Irida and Adamin. Long story short, we wanna help, but without drawing attention, so it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you, though the answer should be obvious. I did Google it and it does not matter. So I'm choosing Irida cause she's the cutie. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water and so Lake Verity was born. No, oh, I hadn't actually heard that tidbit before, or maybe I didn't, I just forgot. Protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. My arc phone's beeping again. <laughs> I'm showing the QR code. All right, well, let's walk into the single room. What? I have to fight an Alpha Sui and Gudra. I am allowed to catch it, but I don't see a point in doing that because I have one on my team. There we go. Oh, hey, what up? Your emotions, share them with me. It's speaking? You fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Surprise. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting. What did you feel when you mingled with Asui's clans? They're all so different. What did you feel when cast out of the galaxy team? I felt bitter. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Whoa. A plume? It looks like an envelope. Open in the door with my phone's flashlight. Ooh, this is the first one I've seen. Could it be the dreaded baneful fox? Kawow. Well, let's see if I can catch with an ultra ball. Oh, I can. Yuxi, what up? Am I gonna get a quiz because you're the being of knowledge? All right, Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me each one by one all at once. Getting out my handy dandy notebook, Combi has three faces, so it has six eyes. Zubat has zero, Unknown has one, Magneton has three, Dusclops has one. I think it's happy. Take this piece of the spirit to, aha, yes. 
I'm a Pokemon expert. I just needed a notebook so I could remember everything. Yuxi's claw. All right, I used a QR code, and then I used the flashlight, and now I'm gonna... FaceTime the cave! I don't actually have an iPhone, so I can't FaceTime, but Google Duo works just as well. Ooh, it's an overquill! I didn't know it was so big. This is what I was considering using before I found out I couldn't use a physical dark move, and then I proceeded to get a Basculeach, in which can I get a physical ghost move? But you know what? We're, we're living with our decisions, and I'm gonna try to catch it. Booyah, all right! I caught two of the alphas. Tell it what I wanna do, or what? Show me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Wait, what? Oh, is this a boss fight? Wait, what? How am I supposed to do this? What? Did I hit it? You abandoned this folly? I'm not, I'm not done yet. No, wait, it, do I only get three shots? Oh, wait, let me guess it's impossible. And then it's like, Will you give up? And I just have to keep saying no. I see. I see what they're doing here. Whether I have the willpower to keep throwing bombs at it. Give up. You struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? I will not give up. Did I hit it? I did hit it. Okay. Yeah, I just had to force me to fail a few times. Hazel's fang? Seems we've finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the shrouded ruins. Seems I've made it in time. We arrived just when we assembled all three gifts. Did you somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Do you mean that Pokemon that flits about the Hisui region? What, Cresselia? You don't know how to forge it. Dang it, Cynthia lady. Oh, hey, they're gonna help. I like that we can form the red chain without harming them. And here we go. Whoa, big. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. Am I gonna fight him? Well, he doesn't yet know that our Michael has managed to get the red chain, does he? That's true, there's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything Michael has achieved before he sets out. The commander's gone? He set out for Mount Coronet with the security corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. I got this red chain, I got some big bling bling. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Michael, take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, put an end to all this. Oh, it's not a Sinnoh playthrough if you don't go to Spear Pillar. I'm officially reinstated. And to Mount Coronet's pit. what the? Hi, how are you? What are you doing? Oh, ha 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 ha. I'm Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> like the bread. Oh, you're Michael. Nice to meet you. Hi, Riley. Seems Lucario sensed your strong aura, too. If you're willing to battle us, come to the training grounds. Okay, uh, not right now. There is a crisis. I am absolutely terrified of this. <laughs> Who's this? Benji? Itomochi guy? Oh, still alive and kicking? Sorry about having to shut to the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. That Taskmaster Commodore's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even those old bones to work. I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. You son of a, I knew it! You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. What? When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound? What? One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques? I did not see this coming. I thought he was gonna be a jerk, but I didn't think he was gonna be a ninja. Why do they always get to go first? My speed is so high. Sayo coded. Sneasler, poison fighting. Got him. I hate that. I hate strong style didn't even do that much of an increase. Man, Iron had to finish it off. And then now with my tiny toge kiss, I can moonblast. Got it.
I get the win, Benny. Listen well, Michael, Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by a maddened Pokemon running amok. Whoa, lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. Oh, they just, wow, they just finally came out and say it, that the people died. That's why Kamado came here to Asui to try to build a new home where people, people could live free from fear. Save Kamado from himself by force if you must. I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. I don't want that. Here we are. Spear pillar, but actually constructed. It's got a roof and everything, and it's got Arceus imagery on it. Whoa, what is he wearing? He's wearing a whole suit of armor. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. Welcome, my dear. But can I truly put my faith in such tales? Of course. But if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Can't yet saw that coming. Face me with your Pokemon, Michael. Today we battle in earnest. And the music is the same as all the other trainer battles, which I think is a little weird. Oh, excellent. That's an advantageous lead for me. I'm not gonna do strong style. It never seems to make an Oko happen where it wouldn't. Okay, might have in that situation, but I got the paralysis. Okay, well, now let's try the strong style. There we go, okay, all right, it made the difference. All right, long shot's turn. Ooh, I get to go twice. So now I can bulk up, and now triple arrows. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that was so close, I did get a crit though. All right, so my offensive boost is gone. I like how it says return to normal. All right, the second Leaf Blade was enough. It still got a crit. It's fun using Leaf Blade with a crit boost. That combination is pretty nice. Ah ha ha ha. Let's finish this with strong style Leaf Blade. Ooh. Awesome. A victory! Man, Longshot, you freaking killed that battle. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Oh, Michael, the fates have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Wow, don't you worry, Commander, we've got the red chain. There's a Weird Ear statue and a Cleavor statue. Are there statues of all the nobles? Ultorb, I like how it's up on a stick. <laughs> Avalog was the largest, but because of how wide it is, it's the shortest, that's kind of funny. All right, well, I... I don't know what I'm gonna be fighting! And I'm really scared! Wait, what is this? There's a voice in my head. No, no in my heart? It's speaking to me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then? Whoa, Irida, do you hear what you're saying? Catch you? Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh may be speaking to me. You hold the red chain, try to catch me then for the fight to come. What? Try to catch me. Oh, not catch Irida. Oh man. Is this Arceus? What? No? It's Palkia? What? Is this because I selected Irida? There was an article that told me my choice didn't matter. Oh man. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting to fight Palkia. Please, please, please. I, this is very intense. Yes! Yes! I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, it's it's called Palkia. Mighty Palkia is speaking to me in my mind. Space-time grows chaotic. The power fails. The frenzied one, it comes now to fight. That is why I am here. You're telling me there's another one? <laughs> but the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Michael could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one now. Oh boy. Is this, is this Dialga? Yes, it is. Hi, Dialga. Okay. That was Roar of Time. Hi. Dialga, why are you being mean? Bagwa! All of you, you must vacate this. Ah, forget the fancy talk. Book it, come on! We gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. What is happening? So our two clans truly were following different almighty Sinnoh, but both were real. What a shocking turn of events. To say nothing of the shock of hearing the commander speak so differently. <laughs> 
Seems that having Michael about has been a good influence on us all. It's only natural. Michael's strong enough to defeat even this new opponent single-handedly. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you forget that the red chain broke? We all right. Armed with the knowledge mighty Palkia imparted to me. Palkia? A Pokemon that talked to you? Yes, it told me its name, but that's not all. It also told me this. The stone of creation's beginning. The chain of red. The vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now disturbing the flow of time. But what about the stone of creation's beginning? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. What are your thoughts, Professor Leventon? Do you have an idea what the stone could be? I don't know what this stone could be. Perhaps I do. Michael, my boy, could you lend me those plates? Oh! -ho! Just as I remembered, here on the back of the earth plate, it says, when the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. So wow, the, the Palkia battle wasn't even the climax of the story. The next day. It is yet another new day. And I have a shiny. I played for a couple hours off camera. There was a match card mass outbreak and I found one. Also, I should mention that my MNJTV Legends Arcus shirt is available at MNJTVMerch.com, but only for a limited time. So if you want one, you gotta act fast. Link is in the description below. So now I can finally progress in the story and cease this ominous music and Chroma Sky. I don't know how to describe that. It's a bunch of hexagons. Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill in mining, and the strength of my Sligu's moves. I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? Oh, these losers. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous episode. Apparently, Charm is both Bertha and Agatha together, which is a little weird. There's the Rhydon, which represents Bertha. Rhydon is down, and then she's got the Gengar, right? But you can't beat a Mammoth Swine if you're a Gengar. A coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need, even if she groused as she did so. I suspect they may have been worried about us? Perhaps even wanting to help? Then they should have said so. <laughs> I agree, man. I was able to extract some of that origin or whatever it is you wish to call it. I suppose it had better go with you, Michael. All right, Mr. Professor, it's all in pieces now, but this is what's left of the red chain. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for our purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits. Your turn, Michael. Next comes the stones of creation's beginning. I hand her literally nothing. Fragments of the red chain collected at great personal risk by the Diamond Clan. The stone of creation's beginning, which we only learned of thanks to the Pearl Clan. Now it's time for the galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. We've done it! I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Wait, please, I hear something. That voice is speaking. Palkia? Yes, it appears that Mighty Palkia is willing to lend its own strength to us in this battle. Everything's ready now, Michael. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Palkia. For so long, I thought I'd had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilife Village. Whether that meant banishing you, or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you've shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready. Hello. I'm Small Ninja Boy. Wait, what's it doing? Whoa! Whoa! That explosion, it just destroyed Palkia! Protected me! Oh, that was dope! And now Spear Pillar looks like Spear Pillar! We witnessed it get destroyed! Oh, this is dope! What? Oh, right! I did see this ahead of time, but it looks crazy. It's a horse. Oh, it's a boss fight. Oh, hell. Ow, okay, well. Oh, it did it again. Oh, hell, where do I go with all these spaces? Oh, I have to do Okay, well, this is clearly gonna require more than one attempt. Oh, oh. Uh Man, well, uh, that killed me almost immediately. Oh man, I can't seem to dodge that. Okay, I dodged it. Oh my God. Okay, what the hell? The, that's so hard. Okay, I got to another phase. Keep my distance. Fire. 
Oh, hell. What the hell? Okay, I'm probably gonna lose here. Oh, I have to hit it. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm going to lose. Oh, wait! Okay, this wasn't the Pokemon I wanted to send in, but I did send it in. I will guess I'll just Ice Fang because it's neutral. Got us some Frostbite, okay. That did not very much. Okay, just keep Ice Fanging. A lot faster than it, apparently. Frostbite gets it! I beat it! Wow, I, if I had taken one more hit, I would have lost. The Cherish, not Cherish, Origin Ball. It looks like a Cherish Ball. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, that was crazy. I fixed the sky! I'm wondering if I had chosen Adamant if I would have fought Palkia instead. Also, can we give a shout out to my Luxray? It 1v1 to Dialga. <laughs> he caught it? He really did it, didn't he? My eyes aren't lying, right? He actually went and caught it? Wait, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is he crying? So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> the heat. Ouch, what gives? Not sure I deserved a sumo throw. Let us celebrate. Well, today dawns a new day for the, all those who live in the Hasui region. Man, it's crazy that I got to witness Spear Pillar turn into the ruins that it is. Wait, what's this? I'm smiling and I'm walking away. Oh, well the credits are playing. Looks like I beat the main story. I'm not gonna have the entire credits in this video, obviously. But I gotta say, I am digging this music. Oh, this is so cute! Thank you for adventuring with us! Oh, look, you got Polina and Iskin together. And, oh, I didn't get to look at that for longer. 